got this comment on one of the Julian Riders videos that I post and it says, um, I don't know, you can do what you like with your channel obviously and I appreciate the Julian Rider thumbnails so I know the video will be one of him. If I wanted to watch Julian Rider, I'd watch his vids on his channel, not come here to do it. I'll just be skipping by any Julian videos you post, but I'm sure others will find them useful. And I replied, I said, Julian Ryder and Freely have been my biggest supporters, best coaches and just proper stand-up people. I have material of Julian Ryder that I personally filmed. It's part of my life, it's part of my journey, and it's part of me. And it's part of the best transformation. But I understand your point. Anyway, I put out three or four videos a day. The Julian Ryder ones are just a bonus to ones that like Julian Ryder. So I'd like to get your opinions on if you like the Julian Ryder videos that I post. The reason why I post them is number one, I like to support Julian Ryder. Number two, the, the videos I've got of Julian Ryder are not the same as the videos that he puts out on his channel. He likes to put out Durian Rider, which is a character, which is a persona, which is entertaining. These ones here, obviously Durian Rider is still part of that, but it's really Harley just giving a talk to a bunch of people in the park in this very casual way. And there's lots of good pieces of information in there that I pick up. There's at least one sentence every minute that I'm like, ah, oh, that's good. And it puts a reference point. And plus, I'm, I'm, most of my channel is about my journey of exploration into raw food and health and exercise. I've got lots of experience in many areas of life that I also bring to that. But I never bring, I'm an expert regarding being fit and healthy. So I think it's nice to have that extra voice coming in there. You know, there are, they're just one minute videos. But da 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 but da 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 I don't agree with everything Harley says, and a lot of it I ain't even never heard of before, and I've never even tried. And a lot and some of it rings true immediately. Like make your meditation when you're at your most exerted state. I love that. I love that. I never really felt that sitting meditations were that beneficial because it was in a contrived space. I don't spend my life sitting down in silence. So I like to meditate when I feel most stressed. But I wasn't talk, thinking about exercise stress. And when I heard that, I was like, that's great. Just get on your bike, get up the hill, and meditate when it's most hardest. But anyway, I digress. So I'd like to hear your thoughts and opinions. Um, just what, what the community thinks. And this is our channel. This is our journey. And if I had hours of freely footage, I would post that as well. Now, just so you understand a bit, um, I believe if it wasn't for Durian Rider in particular, um, Freely's helped me in other ways. But if it wasn't for Durian Rider in particular, I would still be faffing around <coughs> with a low carb, um, high fat diet, trying to manage diabetes, trying to go raw and juice feasting. <coughs> I was doing these things for a very long time and I wasn't getting anywhere, and I mean years. You know, I got into this the same time as Harley, right? Remember that. But listening to his constant bashing of facts, it got it had more power. It had more power than all of the eloquence of the other fruit high carb teachers, the well spoken Neil Bernard and McDougal, who I'd never even heard of, didn't even know who he was, or um, Nutrition Facts, never came across that website, right? And Doug Graham, I met Doug Graham in 2001. I thought he was a great guy. Um, I, I got on really well with him. We became quite good friends. I went to visit him in Surrey with Roz, and we hung out for the day. Um, but the message didn't get through. It was too pastiche if that's the right word it was like very Socratic well what do you think Joe which way do you think is the best way to eat you know it looks like that fruits 
could be our natural food. Well, what do you think about that? And it was, it's great. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting involved in the, the drama with Doug right now. I'm just sharing my experience when I met him nearly 15 years ago. Didn't stick, but listening to Harley, making me laugh, being as rude as fuck, being so sarcastic, controversial, and just, it beat down the doors of my closed-mindedness because it was just too logical. It was bathed in logic, but it had enough wit and charisma and annoyance and pissing me off as well to make me listen. And I kept listening, I kept listening, I kept listening, I kept listening, and at some point I was like, he's fucking right. He's absolutely right. And then I started looking into it and I came across all the research which supported what he was saying, but it was his brash character was the only thing that could cut through the noise. Now, don't get me wrong, I have many, many friends in the raw food community who are health teachers. I'm very good friends with a girl called Shazzy, who's very big in the UK. I'm great friends with Russell James, the raw chef. He's just a really good mate of mine. We've been on road trips together and stuff. We did we run a little raw food school together in London. You know, I, I knew Karen Nola from the Fresh, when she used to own the Fresh Network back in 1999. I've hung out with David Wolf. I've met Lou Corona, he's not a good friend of mine, but I've met him. Um, I've gone on road trips with Daniel Vitalis. We've been in a, a Volkswagen Combi cruising around the States together. You know what I mean? Like way, way back in 2006, 2007. So a lot of the raw food, high fat, low carb raw food teachers have inspired me and they gave me a lot. They really gave me a lot because if it wasn't for them, I don't know what I'd be doing. It was a very empowered path at it and I met great people through that lifestyle. It opened my mind to other things and it got me on a search because what raw food does is it blows open your, brings your shit to the table. So it got me on a search and a quest to really awaken as a human being. So I, I love all that and I love all those people, but I could never stick to that diet, no matter how hard I tried. I couldn't do it, partly because of the, addic the addiction, which is lifting now, and maybe I could do it. But I am just finding overall that getting that sugar in my body is helping me out beyond anything I can imagine. It, it, it's just, it's the other part of the puzzle. So I've done the work on myself with my mind to become more stable, awake, you know, present, able to extract power from situations rather than collapse and become victims to them. So all these other, these powers have become emergent in my life. They've become very powerful and, they've, and they're showing up more and more in different areas, even the more harder areas. But, you, but if you haven't got the right diet, then you're just gonna drive yourself nuts. And I'm like, how comes I, I can sort out so many things, but I can't do this? And I wasn't eating the right food. So I'm happy I'm in a position to put out a minute a day of Durian Rider. I'm so happy about that. I think the guy deserves it. And it's nice that people can see his more hum human side. I mean, he's a human anyway, right? But Durian Rider on videos is it's hilarious. But look at this, you know, this slight dude sitting on his bike, having a chat with a hundred people about just life, his views, right or wrong. I think it's beautiful. And I and every single one, what I do is, it's almost my little training program. I watch a minute, I edit it, I watch a minute, I study it, I, I take the salient point, put it at the front, edit it and upload it. This can't be too bad, can it? And it's my payback. It's my payback to Jury Rider for being so ballsy to attack the entire raw food community, all my friends, I fucking hated that guy. I'm like, why is he having to go at David, man? David's been brilliant. You know, why is he having to go at Shazzy? Why is he having to go at raw chocolate? Raw chocolate's awesome. You know, and all that stuff, and it, and it is in its own way. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've been around these people, they have a lot of fun. It's a fun crew, right? The whole gourmet raw thing, and even less so. But what I did notice is none of the, not all of them stay. The, 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 the ones that I know, like Russell and Shazzy, they pretty much stayed raw. But the community, our community of friends who used to go to Eden Hot Springs every year, I, I contacted them in about 2010. 
And I was like, hey, can I come along and do a raw food talk? Because I'm raw now, because I thought I was. And they goes, well, Joe, we don't actually do raw food here anymore. I'm like, what? Well, this is like the hub of raw food in, in the US, what, where all the coolest people go every year, every, twice a year. What's going on? Not happening. No raw food there. So I guess the point of this is comment on whether or not you want you like the idea of seeing these during rider videos. But also it turned into a little share about you know how important it's been what he's done. Um, I could do days about this, but I could do also do weeks about freely. Freely just just I got her so wrong. I got her completely, completely, completely wrong. One hundred percent wrong. I can't even tell you how wrong I was about her. She's amazing. <laughs> she is amazing. But I don't have any footage, otherwise I'd post that. Anyway, thoughts and opinions. Um, do you like the Julian Ryder videos? Let's hear what you've got to say.